Hey Norm. Hey Sean. How are you? I'm real good. How are you? I'm good. Good. I'm uh I'm wondering why are we here today? Well, let's do some deductive reasoning. <laughs> There's a place there, it says BMW. That might be a good place to go for a 42 question. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, let's go see our friends at iVentures. Hello. Good morning. Hey. Good morning, Good to meet you. Oh, hi. How are you? Come on. Hi. Good morning. Uh, we're, thank you. Come in. Thanks for having us here in Mountain View. You're welcome. So, tell me, what does iVentures do here in Mountain View? Yeah, we moved to, to the West Coast one year ago. Um, we were active, um, actively investing since 2011, but on a smaller scale and out of a smaller um, financial commitment of 100 million dollars and only in mobility services. And we changed that after five years, wanted to do it, take it up to the next level, yeah. uh, increase the fund to 500 million, and increase the group considerably, and increase the mandate as well. Moving from mobility also to automotive technology uh, um, and production, industry 4.0, uh, autonomous driving, uh, a lot more, a lot, lot more what you would expect from an, auto, uh, from an automotive investor. Excellent. And so how many partners are you here at iVentures? We have a team of 11. Um, yeah. Um, I think eight of them here are here in, in the West Coast. One of them is in New York. Yeah. He stayed in New York, and two of them are in Munich. Whilst we love New York yeah. very much, <laughs> uh, and, and has also certain benefits. Yep. Um, we think overall the, the better fit for us is, is being based here, especially being co-located here in the in the building of the BMW technology office that has been around for a number of years, yeah. uh, and they are looking for cooperation with startup companies. And of the team of 11, how many of those are, sit on boards and are actively the, you know, taking, yeah. uh, taking proposals to the investment committee? Typically four partners. Sometimes even we, we attend board meetings with a partner and uh, someone else because we typically do deals in a team of two. I think for the team it's, it's really useful and for the startup it's useful because they have four eyes uh, you know, helping them, that yeah. people have different skills coming from different backgrounds. So, so far when we asked for two seats or two entry tickets for the board meetings, yeah. uh, they were usually very happy to give it to us, but it's, it's really on a case-by-case -case basis. In many cases, we only have one board seat. And would you, in most of your investments, uh, be looking to take a board seat, be that, that active? Yeah, I think right this year we, we led most of our investments, yeah. and that means in, in you typically Series A and Series B with, with checks between 6 and 10 million. And that means you, you take a board seat. Yeah. So can you take us around the yeah. office a little bit and show us yeah, what, what you have here? Yeah, absolutely. This is the, the meeting area. Yeah. Here you see the different um, areas of, of activity for the BMW technology office. They, they are active in, in digital life innovations, autonomous driving. So they are looking for corporations, proofs of concepts. Yeah. And we are basically one, one group in this technology office. So it's, it's very complementary. And this relationship with the tech office also helps our startups engaging with BMW. So they not only get the check from us, but we help them engaging and the guys in the tech office may be the first guys they talk to and then other guys you know, get involved as well who are based in Munich. For a founder that's coming to you these days and looking for a Series A, Series B mm -hmm. investment lead, what kind of traction would they have to have for them to be? Of, mm. of it really depends on the company. There's no limit for it. There are consumer companies, there are business to business companies, there are technology companies. Typically, I think they are post revenue and they have got some there. They have, you know, at a couple of months at least after launch of their product, if they are a consumer product, yeah. they should show some, some good traction, the typical stick development that you like to see. Yeah. But sometimes for a technology company, um, it's almost even pre launch. And so you, you're not doing seed at this stage? We have done some seed, but it's, it's rather untypical. We, yeah. we would, might do it if we think something is extremely exciting extremely relevant to get the foot in the door, we might do it. And, and geographically, where would you be making your investment? I would say the majority is in the US. We have some investments in Europe and one investment in Israel. So that's the, yeah. and, and typically I would say 80%, 85% is, is here on the West Coast. You want to sh uh, show us uh, some of BMW's technology? Yeah, I can show you the parking lot at least with the cars. I probably cannot show you the, the garage with the autonomous driving technology, but this is, behind that door you would see the, um, there's a garage with, with where people are tinkering on their autonomous yeah. vehicles. Yeah. Um, um, but I, I can just move um, out to the parking lot where you see some. And that's where the office is, actually. That's our BMW thing, office. Hi. <laughs> a couple of guys coming in. Cool. 
Yeah, that's one the one I like most is probably the the i8 here. Yeah. Um, so i8 is completely electric, is it? It's it's a hybrid. Oh, it's a hybrid. Okay. Yeah. And it's it feels like a race car. So it's, yeah. it's a great mix between a sustainable car and a very sporty performance car. Performance car, which is what obviously BMW is known for. Yeah. So zero to sixty in. Zero to I only know everything is fast. I don't know the exact time. <laughs> I don't know the exact time. Yeah. It throws you back in the seat. It throws you back in the seat and it's, it's, it's a pleasure to drive. I, one perk I would like to mention as well, they, they also get uh, discounted rates on vehicles. That's very good. Is that for founders only or founders and no, staff? No, it's for the entire company. And that people are using that on a regular basis. So actually we have, I think right now we have two CEOs who drive an i8. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's great. You have a raison d'etre, a reason for being the kind of investor that you are. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, it's, it's, it's very likely to be related to software, uh, parts in the, in the vehicle. Autonomous yeah. driving is obviously one, one theme in our, in our group. Yeah. Um, we have looked at it very a lot and, and you know, thought about it a lot. Um, many software components of the vehicle are, are interesting. It's yeah. more unlikely to invest in hardware pieces of the car, yeah. but, uh, so but also you, LiDAR technology, you know, LiDAR sensors, yeah, sensor, sensor technology. Is sensors and software. Is, is that definitely, fair? Yeah, yeah, that's fair to say. All the money does not come from LPs. The money actually comes from BMW, the company. Is that correct? BMW is right now the only LP. Yeah. They give us the um, 500 million. Yeah. So in, in our mandates twofold, we have a strategic mandate and a financial mandate. So it's, it's we're, yeah. we're very amb ambitious financial goals as well, so that, that the box of financial goals always must be ticked. Yes. You know, we would not do an investment that only makes sense strategically. Yes. Ideally, we would like to make investments that are financially attractive and, and strategically attractive. We have goals that are very similar to goals of an institutional investor. So we yeah. try to combine you know, the advantages of an institutional investor and a, and a strategic investor because we can move as fast um, as an institutional investor. Yeah. Uh, we have our, all of our decisions are taken within our ventures team. We don't have to, you know, asking anyone in Munich, uh, are we allowed to invest? We take that decision here. And when do you bring in uh, BMW? Is it when it's helpful? It for, depends. Yeah. Sometimes, in, typically I would say in the due diligence phase, when, when we identify the company like them, and especially when it's, and it's a deep tech investment, we, we like to use the expertise that our guys have in Munich. They are, you know, a number of very smart guys. And we like to use their uh, their, their knowledge and know-how. So typically in the due diligence phase, sometimes when it's not a tech investment, it's also a chance we invest, you know, leave the company for the time being, grow, because some, you need to, in order to work with a, with a company like BMW, like any corporate, you need to have a certain size. So sometimes we just leave them be um, yeah. and then engage them at a later stage when it makes sense. Yeah. But we like to engage, our goal is engaging them. You know, we, we were successful when the company excels financially and when we in, um, connect the company to our corporation. Yeah. When you are talking about software as it relates to vehicles, that goes beyond just uh, software in the vehicles. That you're also talking about f new methods of financing vehicles, new methods of sharing vehicles. Yeah, it's, it's any, I would say it's anything around the vehicle from production, from the production stage to building the vehicle. Um, it's also sales, anything in after sales and sales is very relevant for us. FinTech is, a, is, a, is definitely an area we are looking at. So. You know, if you look at you know if you look at the, the BMW group as a whole, in theory we could do an investment in every in every single unit in every division. Is there any piece of advice that you would give to a founder, uh, you know, regularly? Say even on your when you're sitting on a board uh, of one of these teams, what, what's what's a typical thing that you see founders needing to do better or mistakes that they traps they fall into? Sometimes people assume too much they are right. And it's, it's keep, you know, getting different perspectives from different investors is, is very useful. Listen, listen to them, challenge their opinion, discuss it, discuss it with your friends, and then take your decision. Sometimes it happens that people have a preconception in their mind, this is why we want to do it, even though they may not be experts in a certain area. So try to talk about things from different angles, look to, to guys who are involved with, a, with this topic from, from different angles, and then make up your mind why what the best way forward is. Is there a typical founder that you are, find yourself backing time and again as a certain level of swagger or confidence or is a wide range of personality types or, you know? It's uh, a wide range. You know, yeah. Everyone from someone who's rather shy, from someone who's very outspoken. So it's, it's really a, a range and we don't looking for one type. You know, for different types of businesses, you need different characters. Typically they have strong personalities and you need that to, in order to, to get stuff done. Um, 
but you have all kind of types. So be authentic and don't try to be someone else. That would yeah. be my advice. And in terms of contacting uh, iVentures? Yeah. As you can imagine, we look at 2,000 companies per, per year. You will not be able to, to look into a presentation for 15, 20 minutes, every single one that you get. But I always look at it when someone refers me, someone I, I know and appreciate. So you start with a very different mindset. You will see that the, 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 the meetings that you get through introductions, that's a lot higher likelihood than getting a, a meeting after just a cold email to someone you have never met before. Yeah. Well, thanks for meeting with us today, Oliver. You're welcome. Great pleasure. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Take care. Uh, did we get it, Norm? Is there anything else we got to get? I think we got it. Oh, except for one thing. I, I heard you were giving away i8s today. <laughs> no, no, we don't. No. Fortunately not. You can sit on it for yeah, free we, if you like. Yeah, we, let's sit in it. Like, like we're going to sit in this. Yeah. Hold on and lay, lay yourself down butt first. Yeah. And this would go very fast if I was to press the uh, accelerator. That's great. All right, we're, we're done. Good. All right. Uh, uh, uh. If you really like this video, even if you didn't like this video, but you want a chance to win an i8, click on subscribe. Now the millionth subscriber that likes this video, I should be careful about that. Liking a video and subscribing are different. The millionth person that subscribes will win an i8. We may have to steal it, but they will win that i8. So please subscribe. To subscribe now, uh, click here. Click here. You see that? Subscribe now. Like the video. Thank you. Disclaimer, you might not actually win an i8. At least not the car. Yeah, what? what? We could give you a V8. The juice, not the engine. <laughs> I forgot there's an engine of V8.